Ooh, it looks good. I like it. Awesome. <laughs> I want more of it. I know. I like the sunshine, the blue sky in the background, the color, right, and the chill in the air. Yep. We've got some of that coming up later in the week. And for those of you that still want rain, and yeah, most of you do, we've got that in this week's forecast as well. Let's take a look at the campus of Appalachian State University. That is Boone, where we had a lot of sun out there today. Mostly green showing in those trees, but they will be changing here shortly. Let's look at the cool air as we've got clear skies. The temps are already dropping 43 in Boone, 54 in Galax, 55 in Hillsville. Mount Airy, you're at 53. North Wilkesboro at 50. Coming down into the triad, northern Pete. Piedmont, chilly 49 in Reedsville. Temps in the mid to upper 50s from Winston-Salem, Greensboro, Burlington, High Point. Tomorrow morning with mostly clear skies, there will be a chill in the air for sure. 44 in the mountains, 49 in the triad, which maybe you're starting to think, when is the average first frost and freeze across our area? Usually it is before tomorrow in our mountain communities, usually running that week after across the foothills and usually a little bit closer to Halloween for the triad. Now our average low is 49 this time of year. We're real close to that this morning and again tomorrow morning looking at temperatures in the upper 40s. As for rainfall, we did pick up some much needed rainfall yesterday. We've got another opportunity Tuesday night into Wednesday. Our total for the month from just that one day of rain because that's all we've seen it's close to well, four tenths of an inch and it is below normal of course for the month and we are still hanging on at just above normal for the year at close to five inches. Now this map will be updated in a few days taking into consideration the rain from yesterday as well as Wednesday but up before that you can see we're in that moderate and severe drought across much of the area. Now these are the areas that saw rain yesterday so a lot of folks the exception the mountains and foothills and on average we're showing about a quarter to a half of an inch in the the area is shaded in blue and then closer to an inch down there over parts of Southern Davidson and Randolph County. Now we've got that rain chance coming in tomorrow night continuing into early Wednesday. Maybe a little bit of thunder with this, but a low severe storm risk. Average rainfall expected is going to be a quarter to maybe a half of an inch and we could see some higher totals here and there. Not coming from the front, but instead coming from the moisture that's gathered along the front to our south as a wave of low pressure will ride overhead. So right now we are clear with that front to our east and that will bring us to sunny skies for a large part of the day tomorrow. The clouds will build late in the day and we will hold off on the rain until well after sundown. In fact, it may be after midnight before we see wet weather. In the foothills, you've got a high of 72 tomorrow afternoon. Mountain forecast takes us up to 66 after morning lows are in the mid 40s. You notice the clouds kind of starting to push in late Tuesday and then we'll bring in that chance of rain, especially by early Wednesday. That's about 9, 10 o'clock on Wednesday morning where you do see the wet weather. A wider view here shows you that wave of low pressure and look at this arm of moisture that's going to be soaking central and eastern North Carolina. We're hoping to cash in on some of that and that all of it doesn't just miss us to the east. It is possible our Rainfall totals will be a little bit low or a lot higher, just depending on where that axis sets up and where that low actually tracks. So we'll be fine tuning that. And then we've got a cold front coming in, and that means some chilly air. Many nights in the 40s on our seven day forecast and highs that are only in the 60s. You're going to see where that heavier rain tracks. The rainfall totals are more than an inch. So we are hopeful that we will get some higher totals in our area. Seven day forecast. Takes that chilly air in here on Thursday. Temps in the low to mid 60s for highs. Coldest morning is Friday morning.